Hello everybody, this is One Life Left, here with Rymus and NickPop123, aka me, back to To The Moon. Last left off, we went back farthest in Johnny's memories, and now something's not right, and we must fix it. I have falling, and I can't get up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, life alert. <laughs> life. Real change, this is... May I have your attention, please? Da, 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 da. <laughs> Freaking music. As you know, I am a representative of NASA in all its glory, and I'm here to tell you all about it. Oh my God, Neil! Hit it, Timmy! Dun dun dun! Wow, that was terrible. But I digress. <laughs> oh my God. Anyways, I know that many of you are wondering What chances do I have of doing something as awesome as venturing in another realm? <laughs> to inhale the sweet of Venus to swim counterclockwise through the rings of Saturn. That's impossible everything Venus poison Saturn poison Or perhaps just chilling at the backside of the moon well, here at NASA, we believe that with enough will, everyone has the potential. It could be you. Or you. Or perhaps... You! But I don't want to go to the moon. And then you're... Wait, what? Why not? Why should I? I'm happier here on Earth as it is. Well, don't you want to go there even a little bit? No, why? Not even a tiny bit? Um, no? <laughs> no, no, no. Friggin' Neil. Well, as an official NASA recruiter, I shall go over some facts about the moon. To start off, the moon is 4.5 billion years old. Oh god. And did you know that its surface is about as big as Africa? It's true, in fact, if you try to bike around the moon... Oh god. Also, it takes 1.5247 seconds for light to travel to the moon from here. And if you drive a flying car, it takes 130 days. I, I knew that. that. <laughs> And last but not least, people who get to the moon get to be rich and famous! And we all know that rich plus famous equals rupees. So, that concludes my presentation. Remember, NASA welcomes any of you, especially if you're a brunette. That's hinting at uh, River. <laughs> well, what do you think? NASA probably wouldn't hire you, but I suppose it's blatant enough for this. Hmm, I do try pretty hard. You try hard. <laughs> Are you gonna go see if that worked? Of course. Be right back. Back. Report. Utter failure. Deuce. Hey, don't get discouraged. I'm sure there are still things to be done. Such as, here we go. Well, here we go. We can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. We can barely afford to pay for a tree. But can you afford the lunar trip lottery? If you sell this house, you sure can! The way his hands are. <laughs> Is the dino certain? Yes, in fact, we really... Did you know that NASA has excellent healthcare plans? It's true for both you and your spouse. <laughs> Free pony rides in space! Oh look, wedding, good for you. But here's a riddle. Guess where you should go for your honeymoon? 
<laughs> Seriously. River? <laughs> Dang, damn it, glass slippery. Johnny, jump, jump. What the cucumber? Whew. You know what? This just isn't working. It's more than not working. It's ridiculous. We're freaking professionals. I didn't sign up for the job just to run around yelling at him like an idiot. You didn't? Look, maybe this lack of sleep is getting to us. Had I known that we'd be an all-nighter, I would have brought coffee. I agree. You should have seen the movie I constructed earlier. What movie? <laughs> exactly. Anyway, as valuable as time is here, this just isn't going anywhere like this. Let's just take a break till morning. I hope Johnny can hang in till then. I do have some calls to make. Ooh. I think Eva's going to talk to herself now, so... It's plot. Plot, 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 plot! Plot. I can't read that, by the way. <laughs> wait, 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 now I do. Why did the machine have no effect? Successfully transferred yet. Yeah, I can't read it. <laughs> there wasn't even a trace of him wanting to go to the moon after the transfer. Unless... Unless the secondary condition for the desire was changed in the process. Only then would the same desire produce two different outcomes at two different points in time. There's no denying that River played an important role through it all. If there's anything that could have caused the core to change, she would be the top suspect. But of all things, what exactly caused it? River... Just what exactly did you do? Ah, the sun's rising. Now I can read, okay. Ah, uh, that sunset. Or that uh, sunrise. Sunrise, yeah. Never... Sunrise. A bad people. We don't have much time left. I wonder if Neil came up with anything. Alright, we're gonna go in the house. Indeed we are, sunny boy. Hey, bird. Hey, <laughs> bird. Ugh, you can smell the squirrel Neil came ran over from all the way from here and now. Alright, go on the left book room, by the way. The book room. Not upstairs. Neil's downstairs. The book room. But Ma, I don't want to go to school. It's Sunday, dear. Shh, let them sleep. I just leave. <laughs> <laughs> Turn off the light, you doofus. Yeah, you owe me a beach ball. Er, what? <laughs> Ugh, almost stepped in the paint. And it said what? <laughs> Glitch. It's 
<laughs> uh, maybe another year. Yeah, I can't read. Uh, go into the kitchen. What's, what's this, though? Over here. I have no idea. Just leave the room. Maybe it'll go away. Alright, go in the kitchen. Because, uh, the kitchen's right there under the stairs. Not that. Not the door yet. Yeah, there you go. No, I understand that part, but... Okay, did you confirm it in his records? And why again was this information not available to us? Or the medical doctor for that matter? Where did you get that coffee? Shh. Are you speaking with headquarter? Yes, I'll fill you in after. Now shh. And then you just leave and then talk to Lily and then come back and then we'll be done. Wait, isn't this... Where'd you find it? In the lighthouse, before we started. Now, for the last time... Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Lily should be over there. Talk to her. You can just, like... I really should have watched those two last night. They were up late. Well, it's not an everyday circumstance. Yeah, you are tired. I yes. suppose. Oh, was well, there something you wanted to ask? You can ask her anything. And when you're done, you just say no more questions. Um. <laughs> you know, it's pretty unusual for someone like you to work here. With two children, no, I mean. It's not that bad, really. There's a school bus that passes through here. But how did you even end up here? Well, a few years ago, my husband passed away. What happened? He was in the army. They were the last batch to be deployed overseas. Sorry to hear. I panicked. Our savings were low and the job market was grim. Johnny saw my ad and offered me this job. I accepted with gratitude. This place was peaceful too. It helped me with my grieving. Doesn't the government issue grants to war widows to help them get back on their feet? They do. And eventually, I received aid. But by then, Jenny was starting to have trouble on his own. He needed my help. Tommy and Sarah liked this place too. And so we stayed. As for Johnny, he was glad as well. We're going to miss him. I think deep down, he really wanted a family. And, um... See you guys on the next part. Yay! Bye!